She won the Miss Singapore World Crown, but her glory was short-lived. Just two months after Riz Lowe has stepped down from her throne, her resignation came just days after her conviction for credit card fraud was exposed. This was announced by the organizer of the local beauty pageant ERM World Marketing in a statement today. We hit the streets to find out whether people support her decision. We also ask if Singaporeans believe that they have been too harsh on her. Okay, today she announces that she's giving up her crown. What's your reaction to that? I think it's a good idea that she did. <laughs> Personally, I, I felt embarrassed because I watched a, a YouTube video and I felt very embarrassed about it. That she was representing us. I think it's good because it would be a disgrace for her to represent Singapore on the world stage. I'm very happy. Okay, why? She doesn't deserve it. Okay. She coming to a cry. She shouldn't get it at all. Alright. Um, yeah, you think she should get it, man? What do you guys you think? think? I think she should get it. I don't think so, you know. Uh, I have no comments. Uh, I don't think so. Uh, she should continue her dream. Uh. Yeah, continue not giving up. Not so fast. Uh. I think she should give up her crown. Uh. Because, um, actually, honesty, honesty is very important. Uh -huh. Then, um, as a Miss Singapore representing our Singapore, then she should be honest about it. And anyway, it's wrong for her to do that in the first place. Yeah. But having said that, um, still looking at all the criticism that she's had to endure this past few weeks, mm. do you think that Singaporeans have been a bit too harsh on her? Actually, not really. Lah, because as a Singaporean, I believe that we have our reason for doing that. And then she's being a Singaporean representing us. She should you know, be honest about it. And what about other, other countries think about it? I think you're really mean. Though. Oh, I don't think people should just make all these comments. Uh, they should consider her feelings first. I don't think it's necessary because everyone deserves a second chance. Do you think that people have been too harsh on her? Um, maybe. Just like, the only reason why she's criticised is because she's famous. I mean, a lot of people are speaking for her and stuff. So, it, even if you have like all the crime stuff and whatever, you're... Uh, just because you're not like that special, you won't get like always get news coverage or stuff. Like she deserves it uh, for the things that she did, the credit fraud, right? And uh, and the standard of English also is like doesn't represent Singapore Singapore very well. She should be prepared because she's a public figure now, so she's representing the Singapore image. Right. Yeah. Okay. Seems like the whole nation is laughing at her. You know, there's so much harsh criticism directed towards her. Do you think that people have been a bit too harsh though? Hmm. Mm. I think she was a bit too over ambitious. Right? No, I think it's fully deserved the criticism and all because, like, she's supposed to be a beauty queen, right? She has to, she has to have the qualities of like what what a beauty queen should have, you know, like, proper English and a good background and all. So yeah. You think that we've been too harsh? No. Because I think it's natural that people react this way. In she did something that because it, there's actually there's a lot of better candidates that could be choose, chosen, but she apparently wasn't one of them. I guess she did suffer, but it, it's like part and parcel of being in the media. I think like um, yeah, it, by by being in the media, you you got to be like acceptive of what people say to you. It's, it's like yeah, it's inevitable that people will laugh at you. So what are your expectations for the runner up? Um, who's going to be taking her place? Maybe someone who has a better articulation of speech and maybe someone who is decent because they, as what they said, um, if, you call, if you have a rec record or something, you cannot take part in this competition. So yeah, someone who is honest enough. Someone who speaks better English, I guess. Someone who is um, very intelligent, pretty, beautiful and uh, able to carry herself very well. Now that Rizlo will no longer represent Singapore at Miss World 2009 in South Africa, next in line to take over from her is the pageant's first runner-up, 23-year-old Miss Claire Lee. <coughs>
This Miss World Singapore contestant tells us about her transformation from slippers to heels, and despite what some might think, she explains why beauty pageants are not just silly contests. Hi, my name is Claire. I'm 23 this year. I just completed my, co my degree in aerospace engineering from NTU. I'll be the first batch of pioneer NTU aerospace engineering graduates. And currently I'm taking part in Miss Singapore role and also helping out my parents with their business because they can't speak or read English. So I'll be helping out with like um, sales and administrative side until I can find a job that I like. Personally, I love um, culture and uh, appreciating cultures from other countries. And I think that languages all sound very beautiful when it's in another language. So I like to learn them. And when I get to communicate with people from different countries in their own language, it's kind of like a sign of respect I have for them. I'll say like um, in Japanese, I'll say, Yoshiko onegaishimasu, watashi wa Claire desu. And in Malay, it will be like a saya benama Claire. And in Chinese, oh, that'll be 我是李韩英, that's my Chinese name. And in Thai, will be uh, 禅次Claire, uh, 禅地在如脚吞. Okay. Yeah. And French and German? Uh, je m'appelle Claire, and ich heiße Claire. Please explain this phenomenon of girls joining this competition to gain confidence. Uh, maybe because previously I was um, better and like um, my complexion was really, really, really bad. Like I had a lot of acne and pimples. But after that, when it started to clear out and I lost a bit of weight, um, people uh, suggesting that I take part in pageants and like um, hey gorgeous, it kind of like uh, make me feel like, hey, actually I'm not as ugly as I think. And yeah, on top of that, it also helps me to become more mature. I do a lot of thinking, you know, why do I take part? Why do I want to like um, join these pageants? It's not all about just fame, but more of like a growing process. And honest to say, I'm not very ladylike, but um, the pageants have been like training me. And I won't say that I'm perfect now, but I, I have actually improved and I don't walk with my legs really uglily open. Yeah. What a sudden change. How did you one day wake up and decide, okay, I want to take better care of my looks, I want to lose weight, I want to be a beauty queen? Well, I took part in the NTU pageant and I came in like third. But, um, you know, I started to, ever since then, I started to look around. I look at like girls around me. I find that girls really take really good care of themselves and I kind of felt ashamed about it. <laughs> Yeah, so, you know, I started to look around, I started buying makeup, and I started to, like, um, uh, learn how to dress myself up, doll myself up, and I became kind of, like, more conscious of my wearing. When I was in, like, year one of university, I would wear, like, t-shirt and, like, every t-shirts to school, just for lessons. And by the time I was, like, year three and year four, I made efforts to look proper when I was in school. Now, what do, you, what do you say to people who think that this is this whole idea of beauty pageants is just silly and Singaporean girls don't get very far in such competitions? Well, that's very true. It seems that um, well, Singapore has never really made it to like one of the world class um, models and stuff. Maybe partly because like we are Asians, in terms of our features, we are not as um, we do not have noses that are as sharp, or do, we don't have eyes that are as big, or skin as beautiful. So, the thing is that um, we actually have this courage to take part in this. It's like this one step forward. So if I'm if let's say I'm gonna represent my country, I guess I would really look at like way beyond that. Because if you look at like the Miss World, there are definitely girls out there who are prettier, although she's already like really pretty, but there are definitely girls who are prettier. But it's like this whole package, what makes her Miss World, what she does, how she speaks, the kind of things she do. Okay. Yeah, so like I feel that it's not only about like a beauty contest, it's about nurturing our character inside. <laughs>